weeping prophet. <laughs> Pastor Jim, God bless you. I met you in Killarney. Okay. You prayed for me and you said I was a weeping prophet when I was underground. And that was seven years ago, I think. And ever since, God has just used me to talk to people. And last night I felt it on my heart to say this, but I didn't say it, that everyone can see what I've seen. So is it okay if I ask something, that the ones that come, have come because of what God has done in my life, is it okay if they stand up? Because is it giving glory to God what can happen? So everyone that have come because of coming to the church that God asked me to open, would you please stand up? Praise the Lord. Pastor James said something to me on the phone uh, that I was the first Christian in my family and more to come. I'm a former Muslim. So when did you start your church? <laughs> the weeping prophet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning star. Much fairer than the lily that grows by the wayside. You are precious, more precious every day. You know, God is able to do more by a touch of his power than the church in its own strength could ever do. Jesus. I went to Indonesia 16 times and Indonesia is, I think, the largest Muslim country in the world. And I'm not sure what the percentage is now of Christians, but it's up there, 30% or something. You go from village, I would drive from village to village to village, church after church after church after church. And the Indonesians would weep. Wherever you went, they were weeping. The Holy Spirit on a nation. The Holy Spirit. People weeping. We, almost every meeting, people just weeping. Weeping. Thank you, Lord. We honour the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.